We might go for the next CBL though. Hiding Bird Baby man. That's some memories man. Back in the day five minutes on the first CBL. Good memories with keyboard warriors. Well, let's look at the uh, teams here. Bunch of is being picked up uh, by Crypto. And Mormodao is actually on the side of um, looking for team. Yeah, Reapers coming in now as well. We have double Shenji on their side. One Houndsman. Now it's like kind of malicious on this map. Guys. I'm can still for an A. And um also kind of militia here for the crypto guys. Double the kind of militia actually last second. So bringing some terraces to the board here. It's a little bit more range power on the uh crypto guys. It's tough to play if you have more range than the enemy. Uh if you're on offense. It just depends on if the uh, defender depends aggressive or not. Let me turn off music too. There we go. Hmm. Oh, all right. Yeah, it looks like uh, game did freeze and people leave the better. Okay, <laughs> it's a remake. Fine, whatever though. Tactical remake, maybe. What actually was interesting in the uh... The loading screen was you could see your sons of Henry and Berserkers being picked up. Since I recently just got buffed and I just uh having tons of damage. Yeah, let's watch again. This should fill up kinda quick. Actually, got also five people on the you know, crypto guys that have ace in front of the name. Probably one of these uh, groups that want to show. Okay. Actually, even six. Yeah, let's go on game starting again. Everyone's still with blue presets though. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's like so much handicap on um an A side of the the units here. Like a lot of modal, a lot of forder. They're being played here. I don't really know for what reason. I mean, a double, triple cataphract, four cataphracts, actually a lot for Highland Fjord. Way too much cap, in my opinion. Also, four for uh, the crypto guys here. In my opinion, crypto guys really have an advantage uh, unit wise. Just the unit combo is gonna outclass uh, on its own, so if they play well, they should have a good chance on. Uh, Taking the W here on the attack. Yeah, let me make sure you fix the sounds. We don't have in game sound yet. Just figured. All right, there we go. Okay. So A is being uh, pushed as we did say before. It's uh, one of the or not uh, the best way to approach the map. And looking at the defenders here. A lot of palace guards and grayers here, forder, even a little bit of sergeants, and this should be probably uh, Shinji's, if I'm not mistaken. Now, really, really defensive setup here by the um, Shrek Orm and A team. It's like a mixed team, looking for team really. Really defensive here. They give so much space for free, so Crypto should be really happy to take this. They can just uh, do whatever they want. Getting a free setup, they can position anywhere they want to, and um, looking for a team and just hiding and basically just seeing a spot. If one of these traps would hit, then it would be uh, devastating. We are pretty safe behind this barricade here. And Reapers are getting ready to flank for the defenders. Maybe they want to bait them in to collapse, but at the moment they're just taking the range damage. And are even three cap points going for uh, Ripter here. So, what's going to happen here? Most likely, um, defenders are going to lose heavily. They're going to commit far too late to the point, suffering too much poke damage. And then, in the end, not only losing the point, but also getting picked up after they lost and losing a lot of units afterwards. Probably still make 300 unit div or something. And realizing maybe waiting is not an option, just uh, jumping into the offense now. But not really flanking them, just uh, going head on into these offense that's super good set up here. Probably not the way, and this should be really, really easy A take here. For the crypto guys here. And now it's time to pick up the units. We also already have the heavy armor pole axis. Uh, chasing heroes, chasing units. Oh boy, man. And yeah, as I said, about 300 unit loss. That's what we're going to see. Uh, looking at the dead troops. That's about what you get when you play like this. Um, yeah, like it's just... As I said, the unit combo from Crypto also in the favor here. So really, really hard for the defenders to play around that. Super, super rough. Um, probably should go just endpoint and uh, wait for a mistake. On sides of crypto, it's like the only thing you can do to turn around the game since he's just gonna get uh, trapped like hell. And yeah, they're actually being smart going for home point here. Good decision. Yeah, looking at the setup, just uh, 
some ranged or non unusual spots, kind of trying to hide the units away. So they're not insta get trapped, uh, having some units in trap safe position, defending forward instead of behind the point now. That's what we actually want to see. And they're also looking to maybe catch some players that are just a little too early onto the supply. Um, yeah, why not? You can play like that. Guy's not moving, I guess. Oh no, he is. Ah, I mean, uh, maybe he tried. Yeah, looking for picks here and uh, waiting too long just results and the whole enemy team being there and your team is not fully here. Um, you're taking a fight again where you have uh, not the numbers to win the fight and you're just going to insta-lose, uh, throw here um, the game basically. Uh, offense should win and then just uh, get a good uh, setup on to the end point. Then we're gonna see the last uh, small fight. And as you can see, defenders slowly losing now. And we're wondering, like, why is it so obvious? Like, these teams are, like, pretty close in the ladder, so I expect them to kind of be, like, even on skills, so just decision making, and the unit comp is gonna do a lot. I don't think there's that much uh, difference in hero plays. Maybe I'm mistaken, but this is just like this statistically what I'm uh, expecting here. Uh, really nice picks as the shots, what most likely um, it's going to drop here. But he's uh, doing really well because he's saving time for his teammates to respawn and set up on the endpoint. Uh, the time that the offense took to kill this guy, um, they didn't. Um, use the time to set up on endpoint where there was actually zero defense obviously right because it just killed the entire enemy team i mean obviously uh they still can heal up and then just go for a proper push but taking the advantage here um placing yourself onto this endpoint forcing the enemies into trap areas and just uh getting getting the free setup would have been much more important than killing like one two heroes that might have even died anyway um, you could have left like maybe one guy in supply so they can keep your supply behind you and flank you from behind and then um, this guy can just uh, sit defense and the other people, everyone pushing, get a free setup on endpoint and you know, what about the free game? Um, looks like offense now closing in, have the range advantage here again. Um, as I mentioned before, they can just sit on the side ground and rain on the enemy, he's gonna use some traps. Still have uh, eight traps left after this one, so um, yeah, they can just sit here, sit here and poke and sit and poke for ages. Until the defender maybe just uh, either walks into them or just does two weeks and they can get a free push in. Oh, this trap is uh, questionable though. But the other guy is running into the trap, so yeah, worked out. Five head, I guess. A oh, nice move here by the photo part. So we're seeing the trap, um, kind of trying to avoid the RNG, just hits them anyway. Uh, was just one hit though. But yeah, opens just uh. Closing and slowly, still have the 300 plus unit advantage uh, from that A fight. And really questionable uh, for the budget play here, but um, yeah, I guess you can also play them in F2 or like in uh, the square formation here if you if you like to do that. Maybe they'll just be aiming because game is over anyway. Now Cataphrax coming. Uh, this might uh, clear a little bit. If they get all the range clear, this game is going to get interesting afterwards because these are kind of their last units. But yeah, it looks like the offense uh, just waited to come to charge and clearing up everything. Game should be done at this point. 260 units left for uh, looking for team. 
and yeah some resupplies coming in some kind of flux actually getting ready but if we look at the spot from the defender point of view like this um it's so do man i guess nothing you can do here is just gonna stop like seeing a calf chargers if it's not coordinated and like uh, crypto taking the game here well executed um smart pick on the units uh versus uh their enemies if it was intended though And then just uh, force the defenders into taking bad fights. So, once the defenders um, did let the offense just uh, tell them which type of fights to take. They took the bad fights in. Pretty uh, clean win here from Rupta. Maybe uh, DNA guys can return the favor though. We're gonna see. They switch up their units too. Longsword MVP, by the way. God bless, I would say. God just bless. 1k support point. That's where I got the MVP from, by the way. How oh, allied damage, though. Even he has MVP, he did do allied damage. Probably a trapping. That's fine, though. Sometimes you need to sacrifice a couple of units.